If I told you this was a lymph node once again, I'm sure you wouldn't believe me because you would say, hey, lymph nodes are supposed to be blue and show lymphocytes and look lymphoid, but this doesn't. Well, first of all, this is not even an h &E stain. This is a special stain called a acid fast stain. It's also called a zeal Nielsen stain. It's the most common historical and even present stain to show uh, acid fast organisms like TB and all of the atypical mycobacteria, including leprosy, uh, that stain with the acid fast stain, including some bacteria as well. But this is not a H&E stain. What you could see are uh, scattered little dotted nuclei, lymphocytes, as well as cells which you would see as foamy if you were doing the H&E stain. But with this particular stain, it's going to be staining things inside of these foamy uh, macrophages or foamy histiocytes in such a way that you could see very, very nice, tiny, little red rods that look very much like TB. That's because these are mycobacteria like TB. But this is the most common type of atypical mycobacteria. It's also the most uh, important uh, because it is uh, rampant in uh, AIDS patients and uh, it has to be treated uh, just like tuberculosis might have to be treated. This is MAC. This is Mycobacterium avium intracellulare because organisms are all intracellular within the macrophages and they stain with the acid fast stain. Similar to TB, they look a little bit longer though, don't they? Uh, sometimes this is called Mycobacterium avium intracellulare complex or MAC, MAC complex. Uh, we don't have the H&E stain to go with this, but if we did, we would see all of these small cells as probably being lymphocytes. And we sometimes would see that uh, the majority of the field might look like uh, they were cells with a bunch of foamy cytoplasm, which didn't have really quite anything distinguishable inside of them. But when you do the acid fast stain, you can see we are staining acid fast bacteria. Thank you very much.